All right, let's take a look at the next type of control here. We're gonna work with the t-shirt size and we're gonna create radio buttons. Those little circle buttons that you see, majority of the time they come in like collections of options for you to choose from. And you can really only pick one option when you see these little radio buttons, at least standard, the way that you're gonna see these. So this one's a little bit more involved than the text box control. So you're gonna see me go through a few steps here. So t-shirt size, I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna go back to developer, same place we saw earlier. Back into the control section, let's make sure that design mode is active. All right, now cursor's there. Now I'm looking through my controls here and I don't see the little circle, the little radio control. But if I go down to this button right here, it looks like a little toolbox. This is gonna give me some more options, more controls. So I got legacy controls. These are older ones that are held around here for earlier documents. And then I got active X controls. Anytime you see active X, you're gonna to wanna to think of more kind of programming, behind the scenes, getting into VBA, in this case within Word. Now, but we're not gonna to touch that. Perhaps that's something we could talk about much, much later. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna get the radio box or the radio control. This little guy right here looks like a little circle. And they're calling it an option button. Option button, radio control, synonymous, but here, option. So I'll give that a click. This drops in one of the controls for me. It's got some default settings. You can see option button one. Well, I wanna change that. I want to say S for small, and then I'll have another one for medium and another one for large and extra large and so on and so on. So I wanna change that. With the button selected, I'm gonna go back to developer and I'm gonna tap on properties. This opens up my properties window where I'm gonna change three things. First, the name. I'll call this uh, shirt size uh, S for small. I'm gonna find caption. I'm just gonna put a capital S in there. That caption is what the user sees. The name is for the back end. Anytime you need to reference that control and if you write any VBA for this, you'll reference it by its name. So the name, the size, and then group name. Eventually I'm gonna have small, medium, large, and extra large. And I want the users to only, ha only have the ability to pick one of those options. So I give it a group name, but as I create additional option buttons or radio buttons here, I'm gonna give them all the same group name. That way they get grouped together and they behave together. So group name, I'm gonna call it shirt size. Hit my enter key. All right, there's my first control. We can resize that. And now I need another one. So I'll go back to developer, back to the little toolbox, grab my radio button. All right, same story. So first I'll rename this shirt size. This is gonna be M for medium. We'll give it a caption of M. Remember that's what the user sees. And then what's the group name? How do you group these together? I'm gonna call it shirt size. All right, and I can keep going here. Let's, let's do one more. I'm gonna encourage you to, to fill out whatever you like inside there. Oops, let's make sure we resize that, get my mouse out of there. So once again, we'll do uh, shirt size is gonna be large. The uh, caption, L, and the group once again, so you tie them all together, we'll call it shirt size. All right, and I can resize that one as well. Do an extra large, do an extra small, do an XXL, whatever you wanna do here. Add your radio buttons. But remember, get into the properties, change the name, whatever you wanna call them. I've just been calling shirt size and then appending the size next to it. Give it the caption, what the users will see, and then group them together. Give them all the same group name. Take a look, I'm gonna turn off design mode for a moment. Got my radio buttons, so now if I select something, I should only be able to select one from that group. That's your option buttons or radio buttons. Again, developer, design mode's active. Get in the little toolbox and grab your radio buttons and then make the proper adjustments in the properties. So nail that one down. Get your shirt sizes in there and then we'll take a look at our next control, but get this done first.